Welcome to Nerd Alert, everyone! This week we have a return guest, Jason Inman! Yay! Jason, of course, has his own YouTube channel where yes. he talks about comics, among many other things. Among many uh, you other You are things. also doing like your own original sketch work and original videos, and you have a new project coming out. Indeed. I have a new web series called The Red Shirt Diaries. And this is about the and Star Trek It's a parody shirts. of Star Trek, okay. and it's about the one red shirt who has survived all the episodes. But we have 10 episodes, and our 10 episodes follow exactly with the first 10 episodes of the original series. So you can watch the original series, and then watch and see how our red shirt survived that episode. There Is you it go. the same red shirt each yes, episode? Yes, it's the same red shirt. It's Ensign Williams. It's this, this lowly officer who comes onto the Enterprise from day one and uh, gets into crazy shenanigans. Do people ignore him? How, uh, how no, it's actually a her. Oh. It's a, it's a wow. lady ensign. Progressive. Yes. You know, just we, like Star Trek. Just like, you know, 23rd century would be. So. Yes. Um, so are there other red shirts? Am I watching other red shirts? You, you will see other Carol? red shirts, but, but the main thrust of the series is that it's her logs. So it's her logs, like we see the camera from her, like a she, like Ensign's log, this is what I did today, Captain Kirk did this crazy stuff, oh no, a Gorn. So. <laughs> And then the best fight yeah. scene ever yeah, yeah. from her perspective. But uh, it'll, it'll be 10 parts and it'll start September 1st every Monday. Awesome. And that will be where? On uh, my YouTube channel. Which uh, is? YouTube.com slash Jawin. Or you can find it on theredshirtdiaries.com. I'm just trying to get him to plug it better, Tim. Yeah, I no, you're really good at leading a horse to water. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Drink up, friends. Uh, let's move on to our first story of the day. Something that we're all kind of really excited about. Uh, Star Wars will be given more of a presence in Disney parks, which may be the fabled Star Wars land, huh? What? Or, uh, or it could just be more people dressed up as stormtroopers. Uh, we'll see. Wouldn't it be called Star Wars World? Well, there was Instead Holly land? World Land. Or Star Wars Galaxy? I mean, there that's, you go. that's where it takes Look, place in the galaxy. they call each area of the park something land. Tomorrow Land. Fantasy Land. Right? You don't know. You've never been. I've never been. No, it's going to be Star Wars Galaxy. Star Wars Galaxy. Yeah. But then Let's go to over, space. Yeah, galaxies are pretty big, and there's limited space in Anaheim. System? <laughs> sure. We'll call it the Star Wars system. The Star Wars system. That is vague. <laughs> Sounds technical and like you need contracts and blueprints. Yeah. Well, you know, Star Wars, it's owned by Disney. Disney is going to milk that shit as far as it will go. They will. I don't uh, blame the them. parks are a big money maker. Why don't we put the chocolate and the peanut butter together and see what happens? But we already have Star Tours, um, and there's a, a Jedi training school. Darth Vader and stormtroopers do show up in the parks. I mean, it's it's and been they dance. happening for a bit. I've seen that. Really? They dance. Yeah. They've Darth never... Vader and the stormtroopers will go out there and they'll do a hip hop dance, and they're they're, they're fresh. Funky and fresh. Fly. <laughs> <laughs> I've never seen that. It's pretty awesome. Actually. I've, I've only seen them fight children. Oh well. Uh, do what you. you love. Yeah. Sure. <laughs> of course. Um, which this, this story we don't have that much out yet. We only know that it will be happening. Maybe next year, maybe the year after, but we don't have I too many details. I bet same year as the movie. I would imagine so. Yeah, that makes the most sense. Mm -hmm. But uh, we'll see. Now we've done a story before about their new like RFID bracelets. Yes. That like give a better user experience. Now I yeah well I mean yeah it costs Disney more money. Disney is now going to track it your costs, experience. It costs more money, but like <laughs> okay, it's got like people characters really, will like oh. know your name when you go really into a place. For being so they'll be stalking you. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but now imagine this thing giving you force powers, oh. and like regular people have to open the door to get into the restaurant, but all you have to do is wave your hand. That's clever. Or you know you know the velvet rope moves for you. Give this guy a contract, yeah, Disney. Yeah, I mean, wow. that's cool stuff. This is an Imagineer right here. That, I would pay extra money <laughs> for that. He can think of it, but he Force can't powers. really make the thing work. Oh, he can't, he just yeah. think of it, he's yeah. just the idea. He's not really man. an inventioner oh, okay. guy. Uh, but this, well, let's, let's Imagineer our, for ourselves, can't we? Uh, <laughs> what would you like to see sort of Star Wars related happen in, in, the, in the park? I want to go to the Imagineer. I want to hear his. I have a few ideas. <laughs> a few? You have yeah. a list. I have a list. You wrote things down. Uh, I like pod racing. I know you say there's a pod race element to the Star Tours yes, experience that already. Is one option and that it's no that good, you don't happen. like it. Because you hate a lot of things. I understand. I think pod racing it's, is cool. It's so wizard. Yeah, there could be like go karts that are pod race themed and you race them around a the track. I think they that's awesome. They tried that already with rocket rods and it was a disaster. Okay, well, maybe they'll get it better this time. Maybe. I believe that, in them. That track is still there and it hasn't done anything <laughs> for well over 10 years. 
There could be a Millennium Falcon installation where you go on the Kessel Run and see how quickly you can do it. Oh, so you can be 12 technically in what amount of space you can do it. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. I was thinking that too, but would you see that as more of a virtual reality experience or one of those um, things where there's a screen? My favorite kind of theme moving. park ride of all time is the Spider-Man one in Universal oh. Studios in Florida. So anything like that. You want that. Can, yeah. I, can I add an idea Please to your Millennium Falcon? Do. What if it's a giant hide and seek where little kids go in the little uh, smuggler pods mm. to hide from stormtroopers? That could be cool. And it's a daycare. <laughs> <laughs> oh, good. This would be good for abandoning my children. <laughs> um, what, what, do you have? what are your ideas? I mean, uh, I have a singular one, uh -huh. and I think it's the total winner. Mm -hmm. No offense. Um, <laughs> Whoa. I'm taking it, I guess. So I'll be the judge of that. The Jar Jar Bounce House. No. So it's his head, and you bounce up and down, down, up, up and down, up and down on top of it, so you can get all your aggression out against Jar Jar. But also inside are like little balls, but they're little blue orbs from the first movie. Mm. There you go. They already banned Goofy's Bounce House from Toontown. Well, see, there goes my See, idea. I know a lot about Disney. <laughs> uh, but you took my trench run idea, so there I don't have some, an idea now. There are some obvious choices, too, <laughs> like the speeder bike coaster. Oh. That would be mm. fun. I think that Avoid we could the do, trees. I think we could do some sort of like Jedi stunt show where they're all like on wires mm -hmm. and they're like force pushing each other and like pulling each other up in the That's air. That's kind and of what Jedi, there's a Je Jedi training academy, and sometimes if the kids like, Look at the stormtrooper go like this. The stormtroopers will like fly back, and it's really cute, actually. What if you put like little uh, at at costumes on top of uh, ponies and had little kids ride them, and it's the at at ride. And then other kids could trip the ponies by getting the tow cable. Yeah, and they're on a puppy. <laughs> oh, that's so cute! Oh my god, that would never work. That one's for free, it. Disney. You can, you puppy pony that. tripping ride. Do it. Make that shit happen. All right, well, we still don't know for sure, so we're free to dream. What kind of Star Wars attraction would you like to see in, well, not just Disney parks, but in general anywhere? Let us know what you think below in the comments, and please be sure to subscribe. <laughs>